I'm Tricia from RiddleFluencyNow.com, and today you will learn six phrasal verbs that use the word show. If you haven't already done it, then please subscribe and click the bell. And if you want to learn real English used in real life, then click the link in the description of this video to find out how. Number one, show around. This means to take someone to a new place and show them everything that is there. For example, if you start a new job, someone might show you around the building that you will be working in. Um, they might show you where the bathroom is, where their cafeteria is, and that kind of stuff. A sample sentence is, I've never been to this museum before. Can you show me around? Number two, show off. This means to let people know about things you have or are successful with, to kind of brag about it. A sample sentence is, he always wants to show off his new car. Now, as one word without the space, show off is a noun, and that is a person who shows off a lot. For example, he's such a show off, I don't like him. Number three, show in. This means to lead someone into a place. For example, Send me a text when you get here and I'll show you in the building. Number four, show out. This means to walk someone toward a door or tell them where the door is to leave. A person could say politely, would you like for me to show you out of the building? Or a lot of the time it's used in a negative way to get rid of someone, to get them away, as in, I'll show you out now. Number five, show through. This means for something to be seen or known despite trying to hide it. A sample sentence is, my sadness shows through even though I try to smile and act happy. Number six, show up. This means to arrive at a place, as in, he was late to the meeting but finally showed up. It can also mean to do better than someone else in a way that makes them feel bad. For example, I would like to show him up by being more successful than he is. Now, there is no phrasal verb show down, but there is a noun show down, which means to compete with someone or confront them in a battle or a contest. If you are serious about learning real English using real life, you can start by going to this page and you will see a lot of links for ways to learn English from me, including a link to an English placement test that I made and highly recommend that you take. Goodbye, and remember, with hope, anything is possible.